Hello viewers, welcome to my channel Math.com. Today I will be doing a problem on projection of points which you'll be studying in your first year engineering graphics uh, chapter subject. So come on, let's start. So here is a question on projection of points. Draw the projection of points on a common reference line. Take 20 mm distance between the projectors. So let's do the points one by one. Before going to that, I'll just explain you this XY plane. So this is the XY plane. I have taken the part about XY plane as horizontal plane, that is HP, and below as the vertical plane, BP. So there are, so there are four things that you have to understand over here. First thing is above HP. If they have given above HP, that means you have to draw the line above the XY plane. Second thing is below HP. If they have given you below HP, you have to draw it below the XY plane. Next, for VP, it is front and behind. If it is in front of VP, you should draw it below the XY plane. If it is behind VP, you should draw it above the XY plane. So first, let's uh, let's take up the point A. Uh, so for everything, first we'll have to draw a line, vertical line above and below the horizontal plane. So we'll first do that, a line above horizontal plane and a line below horizontal plane. Okay, so we'll draw four, how many points do we need? One, two, three, four, five, six points. So we'll draw six such lines. That will make our work more easier. That's what I felt. Three, four. We should not draw a single line across the XY line. We should draw two lines, one above and the other one below. Or make sure you don't do such mistakes in the last one. Yeah, I have draw. I have taken up six lines. So they have given the distance between the projectors. That is, the point will not be at this place. The projection of the points will be at these places with respect to the horizontal plane and the vertical plane. We should make sure the distance between the projectors is 20 mm. So take up smart dimensioning, select these two lines, change it to 20 mm. Similarly, for these two, 20, and then remove the smart, we need not take it up, then the third one, 20 mm, and delete. Put in the fourth line, 20 mm. It is not mandatory you have to delete, but it's better you delete it because it will be easy. It will not be confusing when you take up other measurements. So this, okay, for delete it. Yeah, you have to just press the delete button on your keyboard to over delete it. Yeah, now we'll take up smart dimension for each of these lines. First, let this be the projection of the point A. Point A is 10 mm above HP. Above HP means it should be above the word XY line. Okay, so this should be 10 mm. You can close this extra by clicking on the small dot here. I don't think we need such a big position. This is sufficient. Yeah, and this 25 mm in front of VP. In front of VP in the sense it's below the XY line. So make it 25 mm. Next. The point B is 10 mm above HP. Again, it's above the XY line. 10 mm above XY line. And it is on, on the vertical plane. On the vertical plane in the sense, this line is actually not required because it will lie on the XY plane. Okay, if it is on, yeah, I forgot to tell that if it is on the vertical plane or on the horizontal plane, it means it will lie on the XY plane itself. Okay, and then next point is 
25 mm below HP. So, so the point of projection of horizontal plane will be below the XY line. And here in the question, it is 25 mm. Okay. And then there is 20 mm behind VP. Behind VP in the sense, it is above the XY line. And it is how much mm above x how much millimeter above x well uh, vp behind vp it is 20 mm behind vp make it 20. okay next the point d is 20 mm below hp again the projection of point on horizontal plane is below the xy line to a distance of 20 millimeter and then it is 20 mm in front of vertical plane so here comes a small twist. So both the horizontal projection and vertical projection are on the same side. Behind, be, in front of vertical plane in the sense, it's below the XY line. So you have to first determine its dimension, that is 20 mm. Okay, give enter. Come here. You'll have the uh, box primary value. In this, we'll have two arrows, one facing up and down. So it is just to, uh, Rotate the line to 180 degrees. That is, uh, if it's projected vertical up, it will make it project vertically downwards. So I'm doing that. So it comes down. Oh no. What am I doing? Oh. Okay, it is. Take up smart dimension. So it is 20 mm in front of vertical plane. 20. So in front of to invert it. So this will be your point D. Next point E is on the reference line. Reference line here is XY. So we don't need it here. Before that, we will take a point there because we have already made it. Like we have taken the lines equidistant from each other, no? Like 20, so we'll put a point there. And then we'll remove this line. Yeah. We have to mark points for everything. I forgot to do that. Is it not working? Done. Okay. So here I don't need this. So here is the point E on the reference line means on the XY line. Next on both HP and VP. So here you'll have to understand one small thing. See, for example, if this is your uh, Okay, this is your horizontal plane. This will be your vertical plane. Just an example. Okay, then this line will be, the point on this line will be both on horizontal plane and vertical plane. So again, this point will also be on the XY line itself. Okay, so you don't need the other two. I have to delete it. And then delete this also. So now we'll start naming all the points. You have to select on the first thing because if you go here like this, you will get kind of arrow marks which will be a little disturbing. You'll get now also O. So we'll name the points on horizontal plane as A dash. And the same one. Now, if you click it here, you'll get the same thing again. Change it to A. Now this is B. This is B dash. This is C dash because as we have said, seen it's below HP means it's below the HY line. I mean XY line. So here is C dash. 
and here we'll have the point C. And here we'll have both the points B and B dash. Here is the point E and E dash because it is on the reference line. And here comes the point F and F dash. That's done. So this is all about projection of points. If you like my video, please do click on the like button. And if you have any queries, please do comment. If you find my videos useful, don't forget to share it and subscribe to my channel for more such videos and click on the bell icon to get the notification when I upload a new video. Thank you.